my name is Yellow is Mellow, and this is my little boy Kirby. And today we are going to be doing some makeup. So, over the holiday season, one of my sister-in-laws gave me the ColourPop um, Hocus Pocus palette, and I'm super excited to use it. And it's actually funny because my other sister-in-law from my last video, who gave me the Pat McGrath palette, actually painted this for me, um, which I think is just awesome. I love Hocus Pocus. She actually also painted last year. My Christmas present was um, a Beetlejuice painting. So it was such a funny coincidence that she gave me this painting. And then my other sister-in-law gave me this palette. It was like just the perfect gift. Um, so I'm super excited uh, to try this palette. I can't wait to get into it. I haven't been able to play with it at all since I got it, which kind of sucks. I've been so excited to use it and I'm sad that it's just been sitting in my little makeup organizer this whole time. So I'm super um, happy that I get to share this with you all. So let's get into it. One thing about this palette that I was just a little bit disappointed about was that on the back, um, all the little names are printed on cat faces. So I thought all the pans on the inside were going to be shaped like cats and unfortunately they're not. They're just shaped like regular pans but that's okay. We're still gonna get into it. We're still gonna have a lot of fun and I can't wait to try this out. So looking at this palette, it looks like we have a lot of blues and purples and then our neutral colors, which are like our golds and browns with a couple of orangey red colors. So I think I'm going to be doing, I always do blue and purple. Those are kind of my go-tos. So that's kind of what I'm drawn to in this palette. However, I kind of want to play with this yellow right here, this brown, and then this red here, which are, um, so the brown is called Green Newt, then Life Potion next to it right here, and then this gold color, which is called Underground. And I'm thinking I might use this one right here, which is called Bubble Bubble. I'm actually just now noticing, I don't know if I did this just now, but some of the colors kind of rubbed off. Um, I might have just done that. But, oh, and then I think I'm going to be using this color here. It's called 300 Years on my inner corner. So let's put our hair up and get started. So as I usually do before I start my makeup videos, I've already done all of my foundation. I've primed my eyelids, did my contour, blah, 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 blah. So now we're just ready to focus on our eyes. So we're going to start with the color 300 Years on our inner corner here. And I'm going to bring that up into my brow a little bit. It's a really nice shimmer color. I'm not sure if the camera's really picking up on it. Oh my God, it is so hot in here. Um, okay, so then we are going to be getting our color under the ground, which is our gold color. And we're going to be putting that in here in the kind of like the crease of our eye. So yeah, I'm hoping that this will be um, really pigmented. I haven't played too much with a lot of ColourPop um, creations, I guess. So I cannot attest for whether they are good or bad. So I'm hoping that this will be a good um, segue into their products because I've always wanted to try them. I've heard that ColourPop is really good and they do come out with a lot of new palettes constantly like a lot of collab palettes i know that they came out with a sailor moon palette that i really wanted to get i have a friend who has it and she really loves it um she hasn't used too much of it because she wants to keep it like in pristine condition which i totally understand um especially since it's such a collector's item but if anyone has any recommendations for any other color pop items that i should try let me know down below because i would love to try more of their products i think that um they're probably you know a cult favorite for a reason right okay this actually this gold color is really pretty it's coming out really well i don't know i i just feel like my camera just doesn't get the shimmers as well as i would like it to um okay so then now we're going to be getting um life potion here which is this kind of brownish red color and we're going to be putting that um as our transition color hopefully everyone had some wonderful holidays i'm very sorry if you know things didn't go as planned i know that a lot of people had um 
flights canceled and stuff like that. I mean, that's just crazy to me. I really wanted to go home to visit family for the holidays, but unfortunately, you know, things come up. But this was my first Christmas spending with, um, well, this wasn't my first Christmas with Jordan's family, but this was mine and my son together, our first Christmas with his family. And so we were super excited about it. Um, but my son was just over the moon to be, you know, included in his family's um, festivities, which, you know, makes me very happy. And it's always wonderful to see my son and Jordan, you know, together. Um, they really love each other, which is, melts my heart. I'm not a Christmas person. I just don't typically like Christmas, but, you know, seeing them together and having fun, oh, Hello? Come here. What's wrong? Sorry, I don't know if you could hear that. The cat's fighting a little bit. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so, you know, it just, this was the first year that um, for my son, I really kind of tried to go all out for Christmas. So it was kind of touch and go a little bit because I don't know what to do for Christmas because I don't get into the Christmas spirit. You know what I mean? So I really had to like push myself to be like, we're gonna do all the Christmas things. We're doing a tree, we're doing the lights, we're doing like all the stuff. Um, so it, it worked, I don't know. It all worked out in the end, surprisingly. <laughs> um, okay, so now we're going to be using Green Newt, which is an interesting color, or it, which is an interesting name for a brown color, Green Newt. I don't know, maybe because newts are typically brown, I don't know. Um, but we're going to be doing our outer color with green new um and we're going to kind of make a little wing going up towards the corner of our brow and into our transition color yeah. i don't know if other people out there are also grinches like i am hopefully not because it's not i don't know a lot of people will try to get me to get into the Christmas spirit around Christmas time and like we're gonna get you this year we're gonna we're gonna make sure that you are super Christmased out this year and it's like I don't want that I don't I don't want you know the best Christmas gift that I can have is to just not have Christmas and I know that sounds so bad um because I know for for a lot of people Christmas is like you know super awesome and it's a great time for them but for me it just really isn't um but this year i really tried my hardest to make sure i did the thing because i don't want my son to grow up not getting to experience christmas and not getting to have fun so you know i did the thing i did what i could but he he had a lot of fun i regret the one gift that i regret getting him we got him a electronic drum set. So it's like a drum pad that plays, um, you know, all the drum sounds and stuff. And he, he's going ham on it, you know? Um, but at least it's not an actual drum kit because that probably would have been, um, that probably would have got it kicked out of the house real quick. <laughs> But he's been doing really good. We've been trying to teach him how to keep time, um, doing the little like tap your foot with your hand thing. And he's been doing really good. He is super interested in music. He really loves playing on the keyboard that we have. He likes playing um, his little ukulele slash guitar. It's like a, it's like a hybrid or something. Um, oh, and then I'm going to, I was going to put the gold color on. I'm gonna be putting my transition color a little bit and kind of mix them in, kind of blend them in a little bit more. But yeah, he's been super interested in music. I'm thinking this summer maybe getting him some lessons and see if he does something with that. I don't know if I want to put him in a sport over the summer or if I want to have him do music. I guess it's up to him. I mean, honestly, it's his summer. He's going to be the one doing it. I'm sure you guys can hear the little bell the kittens are playing. They're very playful, very active little boys. Which, yeah, my, my little one was super excited when we got them. Um, he wasn't there when we got Junie and Kirby. He was with his dad at the time, and we figured, okay, we're going to surprise him with the boys. And when he came home, we were like, hey, 
let's go upstairs we have a surprise for you and I typically on my weekends with him I like to get him little surprises and things so he's like oh okay it's probably like stickers or a new Hot Wheels whatever um and I was like okay we're gonna go into my room for the surprise and he's like why <laughs> you know because it's kind of you know why is my surprise in your room that's weird so I'm like, okay, you have to sit on my bed and just, just be real quiet, okay? Just be real quiet. You just gotta sit there and the surprise will come out. And he's sitting on my bed like, what's happening? And then the boys kind of creeped out and he, oh my God, it's Ken. So like, well, you know, like they, they freaked out and ran right back under the bed and, <laughs> but they love him now and they cuddle with him, but he, <laughs> He definitely scared them the first time they ever met, but I'm so happy that they're all kind of getting used to one another. Um, let me go see who the culprit out there is playing with those toys. It was my little Kirby again. Who my boy. He is my cuddle baby. He, um, I don't know, I love his little mains. Junie is definitely Jordan's cat and Kirby is more so my cat, which is funny because Jordan named Kirby and I named Junie. So we thought that maybe they'd be kind of like opposite where, you know, Junie would be my cat and Kirby would be his, but it is what it is. Um, which, yeah, so Ruby is actually Jordan's cat and Lily was my cat from, you know, previous, uh, <laughs> from, you know, previous households. And so it's funny because Lulu is the fluffy cat, Kirby is the fluffy cat. So I like to say that that's his mom. And then Ruby and Junie are both um, short haired cat, so I like to joke that she's his mom. So it's just funny that it ended up that both of the fluffy cats kind of, you know, gravitate towards me, where both of the short haired cats kind of gravitate towards Jordan. So, but it's it's all one big, lovely, fun household. Um, okay, so anyway, enough about my crazy cat person uh, life. We are going to be using this one, which is called. Hello Billy, which is this purple color, and I'm gonna put that underneath my waterline. I really wanna try some of these other shimmer shades. They have Bubble Bubble, Twist and Bones, and Circle of Salt here. So all of these ones are kind of the shimmer shades. And I really wanna try some of those a little bit more, but that might be saved for another video. Who knows? Just like that Pat McGrath palette, I really want to use more of that. Um, and we're probably going to see more of that palette on this channel. And then more of this one as well. I always love to play with new makeup. So the fact that I got these palettes for Christmas are really... They're going to keep the content coming. Okay, so now I'm going to go do my eyeliner and my mascara. And we will come back to see the finished look. Okay, so this is the final look and my final thoughts on the Hocus Pocus Witching Hour ColourPop palette. I honestly really loved it. I love the formula. I think that all of the colors came out really well. I think that they came out super pigmented, which I'm super happy about. I mean, with a name like ColourPop, you would think those colors better be popping, and they were. So I'm super happy about that. Um, I really wanna try those blues and those purples because like I said, those are usually my go-tos. I mean, you kind of saw it in the Pat McGrath palette if you watched it. If you have it, go watch it now or after this, whatever. Um, <laughs> so I really love the color combination of purples and blues. I think that you can't go wrong with those. However, the golds and browns, even though those aren't typically what I go for, I really think that this came out really well. And I'm not just saying that because I didn't. I'm saying it because I really do like these colors. I think that um, this is a nice fall, autumn, wintry look. I think that this is something that I could wear to work if I wanted to or just out. I think that this was a pretty effortless um, thing to just quickly put on. So I think that this palette is really awesome i mean for a palette that only has um 12 colors <laughs> i had to do quick math in my head for a palette that has 12 colors i think you can't go wrong i think there's a lot of different combinations that you can do with all of these colors um which I think is great. I mean, I really love a small palette that can be so versatile and that's why I really love my Kimchi Chic palettes because I can do a lot with just one of them versus if I use all of them, then I have an endless amount of combinations. Um, so for this one, since it's a standalone palette, I think it's really awesome that I can do so many different things with it and I can't wait to try more things with it eventually. Um, and I'm sure 
you all will get to see that hopefully um, I'm gonna try to put out more videos I would like to put out videos every Monday and Wednesday if possible Jordan and I really want to start recording more videos together as well so I'm super excited about that and I hope you all are too but I really want to get back into my makeup um, it's something that keeps me going so I would really like to get um, get back into that so yes if you are able to get this palette i'm not sure if it's still available i don't know if it was a limited time thing like i said i got it for christmas so if you are able to get this palette i highly recommend it i think that you should go get it um because yeah it was really nice and i might go get more color pop products honestly because i enjoyed it i i mean if this is an indicator of what the rest of their products are going to be like how pigmented and smooth they are then i absolutely want to try more of them because this was very nice to begin with i mean as the first product that i've used from them the fact that it makes me want to use more of their products i mean you can't go wrong with that so yeah super excited thank you so much for watching leave a like and a comment blah, blah 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 thank you i can't wait to see you again i can't wait to do more videos again so yeah bye